Hello everybody, welcome everybody to Purple A's Podcast. I am your host who bleeds purple and gold, Isaac here. So the Vikings start off the season on a strong note, starting off 1-0. They beat the, the New York Giants at MetLife Stadium, final score of 28-6. to And I said before in the preview vid that if you're going to have a sugar rush of a season like 2009 and 2017 with Brett Favre and Case Keenum, you need to put, you need to make a statement here against the bad team in the Giants. They absolutely did so and absolutely refreshing. The biggest, the biggest win margin in the KOC area era, so can't complain much about that. So many good things to take away from this game. I mean, starting off with Sam Darnold, man. Sam Darnold absolutely balled out. He was, I mean, he he was 19 of 24, 208 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. That, mind you, that interception was not on him. That was, I felt like that, that interception was more of a great play by the Giants defender Dexter Lawrence than it was on Sam Darnold. He basically got in the face of, he basically hit Sam Darnold and, I mean, I think he hit his arm and then the ball went airborne for anybody to grab. So, it's not Sam, that interception was not Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold start off the game 12 of 12. He was balling out there. He was balling. He, um... He basically also led that, what was that? That big boy 99-yard touchdown drive where the Giants made a good punt for a for at the one-yard line. Sam Darnold made some very timely throws to Justin Jefferson, to Jordan Addison. Man, Sam Darnold, he completely outplayed Daniel Jones, and it was not close. You look at the stat sheet, it does not, that's not indicative of how good Sam Darnold played out there, man. 200 yards is not, is not, like, knock your socks off, but he played really, really confident. He moved around in the pocket. He basically, we might have something special with Sam Darnold overall. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think Sam Darnold, we have something special for this season. Aaron Jones also was very, very effective in the run game. 14 carries, 94 yards, one touchdown, 6.7 yards per carry. Aaron Jones, he was absolutely effective. It was, it's absolutely such a breath of fresh air to actually have a very good running back and a very good running game because it was, it was awful last season, but this season it is much better now. And that is the difference with Ty Chandler and Aaron Jones now. I mean, he's absolutely very effective. He Every time he took a TFL, he, or it, what it looked like it, he would always get five or six yards a pop every time. Every time it looked like it, man. I mean, he, he, he's not afraid to bulldoze people to the ground and just keep running for more yards. He's, hey man, I absolutely like Aaron Jones a lot, man. Justin Jefferson also had four catches for 59 yards, a touchdown. Didn't knock your he didn't knock his socks off, but I don't really care really because the Vikings overall won. They won outright. I mean, four I mean, he had that big 44 yard. He was basically the the driving force of that 99 yard touchdown drive, the second which was their second Vikings second scoring drive. Jalen Naylor had it had a touchdown, one catch, a 21 yards, and a touchdown. And Josh Oliver had himself a big play for the first touchdown on a nice post route and a nice a nice throw by Sam Donald and a nice catch by Josh Oliver. I mean, he was pretty solid, I would say. The offense, I mean, Kevin O'Connell, I mean, he kept the play calling balance. And I said before, you need to make sure you coach Sam Donald to the best of your abilities, and and when the and he did some very nice, you know, short throws when the Giants were bringing pressure to Sam Donald. He he did absolutely the best of his ability, and 
he outcoached Brian Dayball by miles yesterday. So, so KOC did a great job today. How about that defense, though? How about that defense? And against Daniel Jones, I mean, anybody can do it. Except for Ed Donatel when he, when Daniel Jones just lit up Ed Donatel's defense. It was pathetic to see. Well, how'd they do against Daniel Jones? 22 of 42, 188 yards, zero touchdowns, two interceptions. He was sacked five times. 10 quarterback hits. They really only allowed three points in the game. The, they got 87 yards in the first half. They were they were 0 for 3 in the red zone. And the Giants averaged 3.5 yards per carry. I mean, the defense was spectacular. They were lights out the entire game. I mean... Daniel, that's who Daniel Jones is. That's who he always has been. And the Vikings, and Brian Flores absolutely made him look silly. He he made that look easy out there, man. I mean, so basically, you know what, man? Brian Flores absolutely cooked up absolutely something really beautiful out there versus the Giants. I mean, there's just so many good performances. I mean, I'm not... I'm going to try to name all of them. Andrew Van Ginkle, man, he had a stellar debut with the Vikings. Four tackles, one sack, two quarterback hits. That He also had a pick six to put the Vikings up 28-6. to six, And also a pass deflection. The dude was all over the place. Andrew Van Ginkle, man. I mean... He absolutely was going to work. I mean, he was awesome. Patrick Jones had two sacks. One of them against Andrew Thomas. Jerry Tillery, Harrison Phillips, both stopping the run. Harrison Phillips also had a sack. Um, Byron Murphy in the slot had, had a fourth down red zone stop. To basically stop the momentum from the Giants. Which was amazing by Byron Murphy. So, I mean, Byron Murphy's absolutely amazing. Nothing more to see here. Harrison Smith also had an interception. In the... He also had an interception in the red zone. When the Giants went for it again. He was... Which is his 35th career interception, by the way. Jonathan Bullard. He had a sack. I mean, just, I mean, Josh Metellus, I mean, bro, there were so many good things. Blake Cashman, Ivan Pace Jr., Jerry Tillery, Harrison Phillips, Jonathan, any anybody, even Dallas Turner got a sack too as well. And, Andrew, and they made Andrew Thomas, and he absolutely made a complete fool of Andrew Thomas. I said this before in the preview. Andrew Thomas, I feel like he's the the left side of the the Giants offensive line is where it gets tough. But they absolutely cooked Andrew Thomas and absolutely just he just made a complete fool of him. That is the Brian Flores effect, though. Like it felt like Every single player on defense made a big play. That's what that felt like. I mean, bro, it was an all-around defense masterpiece right there, man. They really only allowed three points, mind you. They only allowed three the entire game, and they held them out of the end zone. And that's who Daniel Jones is. That's who he is. And man, boy, did they absolutely put on a show for us. The defense was, I would say, the best part of the game. I mean, the offense, they did their thing too as well. But the defense, I felt like, was the best unit out there. And also, not to be forgotten, Will Reichert for doing the bare minimum of his job for making his extra point attempts. Four for four. So... I mean, really only just a few, like, nitpicks that I have, really. 
basically my only gripe though was Sam Darnold, you know. My only gripe with him was it's just the delay of game clock. The game clock where it winded down almost to zero. It almost but luckily though, the refs didn't see it and so they snapped the ball in time where he was just oblivious with the clock. And also they have to they had to burn I believe one or two timeouts to avoid delay of games. You can't do that in tighter situations. You can't burn timeouts like that. That's something Sam Darnold really needs to work on. And if he can do that, I think we are we're all set to have such a good game, a good season with Sam Darnold. The CJ Ham fumble in the first on the first offensive drive by the Vikings. But luckily, though, the defense held their own where he that gave the Giants favorable field position on third and 16, where CJ Ham just coughed up the ball and gave the Giants favorable field. That's unacceptable. And also, Ed Ingram kind of got, I mean, but to be fair, though, I don't know if Ed Ingram is the, the interior offensive line is the blank. Playing necessarily, I mean, they struggled, you know, to start the game, but then they got their footing as the game went on, you know, as the game went on, they, um, I think the Vikings offensive line, interior offensive line sh shut them down, but they also shut down Brian Burns. Also, he didn't do anything really. And Thibodeau, they shut him down too. So... Other than that, not a whole lot to complain about this game, man. I mean, this is absolutely great, man. Let me tell y'all, man. This is great. So, so basically, this was absolutely a game where they should absolutely do this, you know, just to get their feet wet, and this was absolutely the game to do so. And, yeah, the Giants are a bad team, but you know what? You're supposed to play the team that's in front of you, so... More often times than not, they did what they were supposed to do, and they did it. So, great start to the season, y'all. I mean, I am absolutely excited. We'll see how they do next week against the Niners. Skull, make sure you guys hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Skull Vikings.